we're going to make a DIY rabbit garland. Supplies are a glue gun, cotton balls, printable rabbit image, cardstock or pretty paper, and some twine. Okay, so here we're going to make um, just like a garland made out of cardstock paper for scrapbooking. And I went online and printed out a template. And then I just used a paper clip and held it to the color paper I wanted and I cut them out. And then I just hot glued on a cotton ball. And then I'm just going to use some of this twine cord um, in the blue. And I'm just going to hot glue them on the back and then string them along the fireplace. I'll show you how it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another rabbit. I'm going to turn it upside down, place it under the string. And then I just try to keep the string along like the head area. And then I just took a piece of scrap paper, used the glue gun, I put a little dollop of glue. And then I just press it down just to, so that it'll hold the string to the rabbit. And I'm just doing them every so many inches apart. And then this way I can hang them on the uh, fireplace as like a little garland. So I'm just going to continue that down the rib, down the twine string, and uh, I'll show you the final. I'll show you product. how cute the Easter Bunny cutout came. It looks just so cute. I strung it on string that I got at the Dollar Tree, and it was cardstock that I had left over from like my crafting scrapbooking. Inexpensive cotton balls just glued to the rabbits and I just hung it along the fireplace just to give it that extra cute charm. And then just to review the fireplace, I basically just used some of my um, older decorations that I had, which was some rabbits that stand up, and then along the fireplace, some of the stuff you may recognize from the Dollar Tree, such as the uh, glitter rabbit, the vase, the flowers, those are all from the Dollar Tree that I have from Christmas tree shops, Christmas tree shops, that is from Dollar Tree. I had used it during Valentine's Day, I just changed it out. Put some cute little glitter eggs in it, some bling bling, and then I just stuck the rabbit sparkle picks that I picked up at Christmas tree shops. Then Dollar Tree, I just threw some eggs in the uh, uh, apicari, uh, uh, I say that word wrong all the time, jars, whatever you call them can never say that damn word right. Anyway, then I just, um, that was, the bunny was from Christmas tree shops that I've had. Some of the other stuff is from Christmas tree shops. I just added it into my decor. And then I, um, this was um, a Dollar Tree vase that I had, did E6000 glue to the glass candlestick. And then I just, the same thing, put some Dollar Tree Easter egg, plastic eggs in it. Took some twigs, um, spray painted them white, added some Dollar Tree little mini, you know, eggs that have some sparkle on it, and just hung them there. So, I mean, that's some cheap things you can do. Go around your yard, gather some twigs, spray paint them, and you have an instant little Easter tray. And then, um, same thing over here, that's Pink Rabbit is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree Pink Vase, and some cute cherry blossom flowers. And that's how I created my cute, adorable Easter mantle. And it was fun. I let the kids get involved making the um, the cute uh, rabbit with the um, hot glued cotton balls on. And it just makes a cute garland. And that was real cheap to make. So I hope this inspired you all to get crafty. You know, Easter is a fun time. I love all the spring colors. And... Um, even if you don't have kids, it's still fun to decorate for Easter. But my kids absolutely love decorating. They take after me. So have fun, everybody. Stay warm. It's still cold up here. We had another ice storm, and I'm so over it. But it's allowed me to craft, craft, craft. So have fun. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel. And remember, love, peace, and blessings to all. Bye-bye.